Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, presented by Draco Breach. We're back at the end of time because there is actually something that we can get now, back in, uh, present day, near Lane Square. So, we're gonna go quickly get that. So, first things first, we have to exit Lane Square. It doesn't take too long, so I figured I'd show the entire... Hello? Entire thing. If I would stop running into people, that would also be nice. But down at Luca's house, we actually have a new gift from Tabin. Oh, you're just in time. It's my finest work, the ultimate e in defense for my daughter. And it's actually a very good item at this time, and of course, as always, Nobody but Luca can equip it. The Tabin Helm increases magic defense by 10. So that is actually quite good. So, um, there's that. I still, I'm, I'm going to go over the strengths and weaknesses of this party going into Magus, uh, Magus's lair as we come across certain uh, enemies. Because there are advantages and disadvantages to having Marl as your third character. Anyway, back to Truce Canyon. Now, I think you can actually get that Taban Helm as soon as you get Frog in your party, so as soon as you give him the Masamune, before the cutscene where he um, splits open Magic Mountain. So, yeah, you can take that as you will. Okay. Later, guys. Have fun playing your game of Kick the Rolly. Okay, so we head back to Magic Magic Cavern, isn't it? I said Magic Mountain. About to find out, that's for sure. Magic Cave. Cavern was closer. Anyway, we come in here, and there's this little bat following us. And we're going to see a lot of very interesting enemies. Uh, the vamps have no physical resistance. They can easily be killed by physical attacks. The gremlins here, on the other hand, are highly resistant to physical attacks. And it's probably recommended to use magic attacks to actually take them out. Such as that. Now, Chrono and Frog do not have the greatest uh, magic attack levels, but uh, Marl is actually obviously pretty decent at magic attacks. And we have another one of these sealed chests. Just keep these in mind, we cannot do anything with them yet. Oh, I hope Frog attacks the other vamp. Good, good, good. Now, one of the advantages of having Frog and Marl is going to come up right here in the, in the uh, next fight. As you can see, there's a bunch of gremlins, and what are they? They are resistant to physical attacks which means that you want to use a magic attack. Well... Unfortunately, gremlins are also incredibly fast. Ice water strikes all enemies, which is better than antipode. 
uh, which only strikes one enemy. And I don't think Chrono and Robo's combo attack actually actually that might have uh, magic associated with it. Uh, sure, we'll do that again. It's, yeah, the vamps aren't going to survive this either. Get used to seeing this attack. It is very useful. Unless, of course, somebody is immune to the water element. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus Castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. So that's a clue on how to how to fight a particular enemy known as the juggler. We'll see them quite a bit later. This can only be Magus Castle. And we enter and... Well, there's nobody to greet us in the first room. Okay, let's continue on then. Human. Ha. Ha. Uh... Got a mid ether. Okay. Wanna play? Wanna play? Ha ha. And, well, free treasure and there's a, there's a sword. Can I have the sword? No, you can't have the sword. So this is all very strange. There's humans in Magus Castle who's supposed to be the leader of the mystics we know that the mystics are uh, basically beasts and monster. Well, demon-like folk? Whatever. Anyway, in here, our treasure. Wanna play? Ha, ha. Um, why aren't you talking to me? Hello? Frog, you're safe. Princess Nadia, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Okay. As you can probably tell, these people are important. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the festival. You had me worried sick. These people are important to the members of your party. The only one that can change is the king here. He can be Luca if you have Robo, which is interesting. He can be... Um, Luca's mom, I believe, if Luca's in your party. And of course, he's the king if Marl is in your party. Eh, nothing in here either. So we've talked to everybody. Nobody really has anything to say. There's one treasure chest we can't get right now. Oh, oh that's neat. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and save our what? Who is you? Ozzy. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say Sir Froggy? Ha <laughs> ha! Say, looks like you've got some replacements for Cyrus. Now, I believe when he says Sir Froggy, he'll actually add Y to whatever name you give Frog. I'm, I can't remember for sure. I've never really tested it. I usually just keep the default names because I like them. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. The swordsman slash and flee the magician. And... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus Castle. And unfortunately, he is absolutely right. You have to beat 
every single beast in this castle. But you can make short work of most of them. There are a few that might give you some hassle. But as you can see there, we're doing like 520 damage to everything in that particular group. So, yeah. Okay, time to do this. Dance, dance, for tonight our leader is to be born. Ah, here comes the sacrifice. Now these guys aren't particularly hard. You might not want to waste too much magic. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think the uh, the Omnicrone will survive this attack. Oh, you think he will survive? He took zero damage. But yeah, these enemies will seem familiar because we've fought them before. There are some small changes. Um, only a Morn would try to kill something that's already dead. There's, a, there, Like I was saying, there are some small changes for Magus Castle, but... Yeah. Humans? And I'll show you here why magic is not really necessary. Because first of all, you know that Om uh, Omnicron will perish after two hits. Um, one if there is a critical. Um, which unfortunately, the second person who hit him was the critical. Uh... Oh, that was a Decadent who attacked. I thought for some odd reason that uh, Marl or Chrono had attacked, but that's impossible because, as you can see, even Marl can take them out in one hit. And the creepy music here just accentuates everything. Uh, 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 uh. Please help. Relieve us of this misery. So, yeah, those people that you talk to, they weren't people, they were the undead. So, yeah, somebody has a rotten sense of humor, having humans walk around the castle to trick anybody who happens to walk in, it's a trap. One meant to fool your senses while surprising you with an attack. Hmm. How did you get past my cadaver pals? It's been ages, Sir Slush. You we're gonna have to wait a moment because... I'm in better condition than in my test playthrough. Interesting. That's Slash, you slimy dolt. Still playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? You'll be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. You'd have... Da -da -da. You'd have fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. Slash in his first form. I'm not going to mince words here. He has two forms, which is kind of hilarious. First form has 3,200 hit points. And... He's just kind of normal-ish. Does regular damage. Isn't really much of a threat. Um, but you still don't want to lose too much hit points in this phase. Um, I'm not going to be using much MP here because it's the second phase that I... He did not use that in my test. Really? It, it's, it's hilarious watching some of these enemies do different things. But anyway, 
Um, I'm not going to be using MP until the second phase, pretty much. Because the second phase is much more dangerous. And has a few addendums. But right now, he really doesn't have any weaknesses or any resistances or weaknesses. That's a pretty. That can be a nasty attack. As you can see, 70 odd damage. Uh, let's go ahead and Aura or World. And Frog with Masamune and Hero Metal will be absolutely invaluable. He seems to critical around half the time, maybe a little bit more. As you can see, it's kind of absurd. That's not too dangerous, but that marks the end of the phase. Now, let's get to business. This is going to uh, this is going to do me a world of good. And he grabs the sword off the wall, and with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me? And this phase, do not use any water attacks. That means Ice Sword, do not use. That means Sword Stream, do not use. X-Strike, used with Reckless Abandon. Now, he does know the move, ironically, Slash. Where he is in the room will determine who he hits. Uh, actually, that's bad. I probably actually could have just used Heal uh, Aura on Chrono, now that I'm thinking about it. But, eh. Oh, really? You hit all three of them. Uh, fortunately, you can still counterattack with the Rage um, Band, so you can tell that I really enjoy having the Rage Band, can't you? Now, with 5,200 experience, uh, experience points, hit points, you can tell that this is going to... Really? Um... No, I'm fine. With 5,200 hit points, you can tell that this is going to be a tough battle. Um... And... Like I said, you don't want to use... Um... You do not want to use water-based attacks on him. Whatever you do. So, in this case, you can see that the weakness of having Marl in your party is that you have two water users. You have Glenn, aka Frog, and Marl, aka Princess Nadia. It's hilarious that the two people with nicknames, that use nicknames instead of real names... Uh, I actually do want to heal... Marl. The two people with nicknames um, use the same element, and Slash just doesn't care about that element. Oh, I should have. Uh... Now she's fine. No, not... I kind of meant to use that on Frog, and now I'm going to have to use the... Use Cure instead of Heal Aura. Not a big deal for... There we go. Fortunately, at this point, that is a full heal. You've got to be... Getting close. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Oh, yay. I do not like that attack. It does a lot of damage. Uh, heal aura might be in order. Yes, absolutely an aura, an absolutely aura whirl. Uh, I might actually want to 
give Marl another heal based on how this goes. Oh, okay. There goes Slash. Unbelievable. But falling in the line of duty for Magus leaves me with few regrets. And he leaves behind Slasher, which is definitely getting equipped to Chrono. It only increases his attack power by one, but it increases his speed by two, which is very useful. Uh, is somebody missing a rock helm? Right, okay. It also gives you a save point. Um, I'm not too bad on health and everything, so I don't need that for shelter right now. I did not want to do that. On your way back out, you do not have to defeat them. You can literally just run right past them. I guess this is a free five um, tech points. Actually, on the Chrome, does he give one or two? But anyway, in this room, do not do what I just did, which is run straight in without thinking. Stop and go around them. And I know it's too late, but I'm going to show basically what I typically do in this room the second time through. There we go. Anyway. I head over here, and I just... That's what I do. It's right there. It's easy. You avoid the enemies, which you do not need to fight, and you continue on. Anyway, for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless, and safe travels.